Okay, it being 5.30, this meeting of council is called to order. Uh, this is a public meeting held by council under section 34 of the Planning Act 1990 and is declared open. Members are to state any pecuniary interest in the general nature thereof before this item is discussed. There being none, uh, this public meeting is to consider an amendment to the Township of McNabb Brayside Zoning Bylaw 2010-49 for part of Lot 16, Concession 3, located at 119 Cluche Lane for Church and Sparrow Incorporated. Uh, the public meeting is a requirement of the Planning Act in accordance with the Planning Act. Notice must be given at least 20 days before the public meeting is held. Would the clerk please confirm the date the notice was circulated and calculate that we have the required 20 days notice? <clears throat> the notice was circulated to all property owners within 120 meters of the subject property. On February 17th, 2022, the notice was also mailed to all the agencies as required under the Planning Act and was published on the Township website, Calendar and Bolton Board on February 17th, 2022. The notice was also posted at the property site by the property owner on February 2nd, 2022. Uh, thank you very much. The 20 day notice having been given, I now declare this a meeting properly constituted to transact its business. Any person wishing to receive written notice of the adoption of the amendment being considered at this meeting must leave their name and mailing address for the township clerk in writing as required by section 34 subsection 14.5 of the Planning Act. Council is required to inform the public who is entitled to appeal to the Ontario Land Tribunal under sections 34 subsection 11 and subsection 19. Under section 34, subsection 11, if council decides to refuse an application or refuses or neglects uh, to make a decision on an application within 120 days of the municipal clerk receiving the application, the applicant or the Minister of Municipal Affairs and Housing may appeal to the Ontario Land Tribunal while filing, by filing an appeal with the clerk of the municipality. Section 34, subsection 19 states no later than 20 days after the giving of notice of passing of the bylaw, the applicant, any person or public body who made oral submissions at the public meeting or made a written submission to council before the bylaw was passed or the municipal minister of municipal affairs and housing may appeal to the Ontario Eleven Tribunal by filing an appeal with the clerk of the municipality. Would the clerk please give a description of the proposed amendment? Uh, the subject lands are part of Lot 16, Concession 3 in the Geographic Township of McNabb in the Township of McNabb Brayside, located at 119 Cluche Lane. The notice also indicated that the meeting was on Tuesday, March the 15th at 5.30 and the participation was vir virtual. The purpose of the amendment was to rezone a total of approximately 51 100 square meters of a 12.5 hectare rural waterfront property to permit a new proposed dwelling near the Madawaska River and to permit a new detached garage with an increased maximum accessory building height from 5.0 meters to 6.0 meters to accommodate rooftop solar panels. The rezoning includes approximately 450 square meters of an environmentally protected lands. A slope stability assessment has been submitted in support of the application to permit the new dwelling and garage at the proposed location. The overall effect of the amendment will be to rezone the portion of the property to be developed with a new dwelling and garage from rural and environmental protection to rural exception 45. Additional information regarding the zoning amendment was available for inspection at the township office during regular office hours. The notice was dated February the 18th, 2022, and signed by myself, Angela Young, Deputy Clerk, Township of McNabb Race. <clears throat> Thank you very much. Were there any written comments received? Uh, yes. So Bell Canada will provide a response should any comments or input be required on the information included in the circulation. Please note that Bell Canada does not gener generally comment on zoning bylaw amendments. Uh... Township Building Department will provide more detailed comments uh, and or conditions after a more thorough review. 
uh, an agreement is required with the township for temporary use of existing cottage during construction of new dwelling, two dwellings per lot. The township septic department will provide more detail or comments uh, after more for a review. Any portion of the new septic to be a minimum of 30 meters from the Madawaska River. Township of McNabb Brayside Public Works Department has no comments or concerns. Enbridge Gas does not object to the proposed application, however, reserves the right to amend their development conditions. Uh, Debbie Cloutier uh, is in support. Uh, is in support of the application. Uh, OPG has no objections to the application as presented, but holds certain interests in the property on the site and adjacent lands, therefore requiring the following conditions are met. Um, the proposed dwelling and garage does not encroach on OPG lands. Construction activity or construction debris does not encroach on OPG lands. In addition, if the applicant wishes to introduce a removable dock to the shoreline owned by OPG, OPG asks that the property owner contact OPG <coughs> to acquire a waterfront license. And the French school board has no comments or concerns. That's all of them. Okay, thank you. Um, Ms. McVean, would you have any additional comments for this application? I don't think so. I think the report was pretty self-explanatory. Um, our main concern was with regards to the slope stability along the Madawaska River and he's uh, the applicants prepared, had prepared a slope stability assessment that's shown that the lands are very stable. Um, and so that's not an issue. So we're supporting that change of the environmental protection portion of the property. And then um, the additional exceptions required for the building height for the solar panels, which supports uh, green energy and uh, sustainability, uh, sustainability, which are uh, official plan policies that uh, we look to meet as well. Thank you. And just to be clear, the slope uh, issues were the only concern and thus, thus why it was environmentally protected? That's correct. Okay. Thank you. Just for those that may be online listening. Yes. Thank you. Um, speaking of which, uh, are there any members of the public that wish to speak to the amendment? And I, I'll just preface that by saying that it's not a, a, the property owner or an agent thereof whose turn will be next. I have no one with their hands up. Thank you. Uh, would the owner or the agent of the property wish to speak to the amendment? And if so, please state your name. Hi, it's uh, Doug Church. Can everyone hey, hear Doug, me? Doug, how are you? Good. Uh, th thank you very much for the opportunity to, uh, you know, to apply uh, for the, the rezoning. Uh, you know, we just wanted to take a, a have a chance to introduce ourselves. So, uh, Doug Church, uh, you know, I live in Ottawa. I have lived in Ottawa for roughly 40 years. Uh, Roberta Sparrow is my spouse. She's here with me, and her family has a long history in in uh, McNabb Brayside. Her grandpa, grandpa was uh, Art Charbonneau, uh, mm -hmm. who I believe uh, Mayor Peckett, uh, you've known. Um, she has relatives over on the other side of the river, John Charbonneau, George Charbonneau, uh, the McLaughlin family. Uh, so that's how we came across the property. We're, we're really looking to build our, our dream home and to do it in a, a respectful manner. So we're, we're trying to make it fit into the forest. Uh, the location is really to accommodate a walkout uh, basement or a walkout uh, lower level. Uh, and it's on a it's on a stone ridge, which is really the best place to, to locate it and the, the least disruptive to you know the surrounding forest. Uh, so we're we're trying to do it in a way that we keep the forest. Uh, you know, we we really want to live uh, in a house in the forest, and uh, you know, hope that you can see fit to to approve the application. Well, excellent. Thank you. Thank you. That was, it's almost a return to your roots, so to speak. For Roberta. 
Yes. Yeah, definitely. I love it there. It's the best place <laughs> on earth. <laughs> yes, yes, it is. Or we think so, at least. <laughs> and, and then the garage itself is really in the middle of the forest. Um, you know, nobody's, it's, it's really a, a kind of a minor increase in height just to accommodate the, the slope of the roof that we need for the solar panels. Um, and, and no, you know, it's not going to be visible from the river. It's uh, back behind the home uh, in the woods. Um, you know, again, we're, we're trying to, you know, maintain, uh, you know, the natural state of the property to the degree possible. Uh, quite frankly, we're retiring there and uh, we don't want to spend a lot of time cutting lawns. Hmm. Don't believe me for that. Well, and, thank and you very much. Just for information, we, we do have OPG approval for the dock. Oh. So we do have a license with them already. So, submitted a plan for the dock and, and uh, all the paperwork. Excellent. Well, that sounds fantastic. Um, at this point, I'd just ask if there are any questions or comments from members of council. Uh, Heather? Yeah, just a question to Doug and Roberta. I row past there uh, occasionally, and I think it's probably the property where there are being a couple of chairs down near the shore and a bit of a dock or some sort of thing. I have hiked behind Debbie Cluche's house, so welcome to the neighborhood. Um, and it's a lovely property. And Mayor Peckett. Thank you, Chair. All I wanted to say was uh, to Mr. Church, is welcome to uh, the greatest place to live in the Ottawa Valley. And uh, we hope you enjoy your, your new home and uh, looking forward to see it get underway. And I do know a lot of the Charbonneau folks and new art know John. So uh, and, and I've known Art for decades and decades. So good family. Thank you. Anybody else? No? Okay. Uh, this therefore completes the public uh, meeting process. Council will consider the arguments for and against the zoning amendment requests for this property. Uh, the bylaw will be brought forward to a meeting at six o'clock this evening uh, for council uh, consideration of passing. Uh, should this bylaw be passed, a notice of passing will then be circulated as required under the Planning Act, and there would be a 20 day appeal period after the notice is sent out. Uh, just for those, um, we cannot start our meetings early, so the next meeting will start at six and it, it forms part of our regular council meeting. Uh, with that, I declare this public meeting closed. Thank you very much, everyone, and we'll see you at six.